what's good with the YouTube, man? I'm back with another one, you heard me, still rolling. And what's good, what's good, what's popping, man, what's popping? I got a lot of y'all keep asking me, um, what's my reason of not tattooing more? I really posted a video about, like, why I'm stopping, but I guess I'll get more in the detail for y'all. Um, this is me making myself go harder at whatever else I'm trying to do versus just focusing so much on one thing and putting everything else on the side. Cause honestly, like, you can't really make it nowhere in life on one income, especially if you've been doing the same income for years. Like, you can't really make it nowhere with that same income. Like, you need, for, you need more money, you need more, more source of income, you need more, more, more shit coming in, making money, paying the bills. Like, you need to change everything to assets. So, what I've been on, um, where I want to start up at, where I want to start up at, where I want to start up at. Uh, all right, so yeah, I started really feeling this way about, you know, not wanting to tattoo them all back in like August, like when I went to California. I really, I really been on some like, I need to find more sorts of income type shit and like, you know, but stop tattooing was never, you know, in my mind. Like, I didn't wanna, it's not that I didn't want to stop, it's just, I just didn't think about like, you know, excuse me, stopping. I always thought like, if I stop, I couldn't make no more money from doing that. Excuse me. So, you know. I thought if I couldn't make no more money doing nothing, then why would I stop tattooing? But when like around town August hit, it's right when I got a big ass eye opener with life. Like really like over the summer, I got a big ass eye opener with life. And I just be on some I just lately been on some shit like my nigga, you gotta get out of there. Like you gotta get out there, you gotta put yourself out there. If you want that shit, you gotta go get it. If you wanna be where you wanna be in life, you gotta come make that shit happen. You can't just sit back there and let that shit come. And me tattooing take up so much time of my day and so much time of my life like by the time I get done with it, get done chatting for the day or whatever like I don't really have too much time to do too much else because like the day gone is either dark or it's too late or just people busy you know like I ain't really got time to really put my all of focus on something else I can't really go I can go home and start a drawing yeah but like I'll be tired though my fingers be hurting like who wants to go from damn near drawing you know with a needle and ink to come back drawn with a pencil like that. My fingers hurt. I don't know if y'all know that, cause a lot of y'all really don't know that. Like with tattooing, a lot of y'all felt like, you know, I, I was just immortal. I ain't get tired. My fingers ain't hurt. I ain't had no complaint in the world. And for some reason, a lot of y'all feel like the tattoo artists are so rich. And what get me with that, y'all swear to God I'm so rich based off how much I charge, which is what I feel my work is worth. Like you heard me, like y'all, y'all, we got another story we get to. Y'all up there, swear to God, the tattoo artist is so fucking rich, bro, but it, it, it's hard for a nigga like, like me tend to be rich when I, I'm in a city like Baton Rouge with a lot of cheap ass people. There's some people out here who spend some money on a tattoo, but it's also a lot of cheap ass people who feel like a tattoo is supposed to be cheap. And I don't understand, like, I never understood why people want to be so cheap with their body. That's why they got so many people out here walk around with bullshit ass work on their body and they mad about it. Like, y'all don't understand. Them cheap ass tattoos make you look bad. It make you look like you got something. It make you look like you just a dirty person. It, it just show like, you basically like advertising bullshit. Like, you basically advertise yourself as bullshit. People look at you, they be like, okay, they bullshit. And and I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it gangster with you. 10 out of 10, everybody I done ran across some ugly, tall, bad tattoos are bullshit. Like, no offense, but they're bullshit. And, you know, that's just how Baton Rouge is. And that's just something, another reason, like, I'm tired of something else I'm tired of. Like, I don't got time for y'all to be coming to me, lowballing me, trying to be cheating me because the next person charging you cheap because he charging you 30 to 60 dollars for a full motherfucking sleeve, which is a whole motherfucking arm. And you want me to charge you 60 dollars for a full sleeve on my work? Then you got nervy and mad telling me that ain't worth that, it's worth this. I can tell you my work works, man. Y'all be tripping with that motherfucking shit. How you tell another person what they work is worth? That, that shit there is, I don't know. I don't know, y'all got some shit with y'all. Motherfucker really told me, be, just be telling me like what my work worth and shit like that. Y'all wanna put a number on my, y'all wanna put a number and a price on my work. Like, they, they don't go like that. Y'all sit up here and read really hard up, but really get mad at me because I tell you a price on something. First off, when I tell you a price on something, you don't have to come to me. By you getting mad telling me what the price should be and telling me I should charge this and trying to get a deal, just told me like, yeah, they really wanna come fuck with my work. But they won't be cheap by no, and I be cheap on work. It's, it's I, I show love to if I want to show love to you. Heard me? If you somebody who I fuck with, or somebody who I feel like I always spend money, or just somebody I feel like you know you can't be right, I'ma show you some love. Then that's what it was like. You know. But um, like, I, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I never. I, there's a lot of shit I just got aggravated with. Like people come and ask you the dumbest questions. Like 
they will come on your page, look at your bio, read your bio. First off, they'll come on your page, read your bio, come DM you like, hey, what's your number? Even though it's in the bio, you send them over, they text you, hey, this such such on that ground, you do text? My G, come on now. Come on now. And I'm responding to you with something stupid, like, no, I do body art. No, I just write on people with markers all day, like type shit like that. Or people hit you up with the craziest shit, bro. Then they got some people that hit you up with the most unrealistic shit, like with cover ups. Like, nigga have a big, ugly, dark ass, like, name that is bold as a bitch, or a big, stupid ass, dark, ugly ass tattoo, and they'll send you a picture or something, like, and I'll be like, how you feel like that's gonna cover that? Like, how you feel like that? Like, that's in your picture. Like, they have a line that's raw, that ugly as a bitch, a line. They'll send you some words. Like, y'all wanna cover this line up with these words. Tell me where they make sense at. How you gonna cover a picture of words? Like, y'all be thinking, like, you put, just cause you put that over there, it's gonna, no, no. Y'all be tripping, man. There's a lot of shit with tattoos that just really got me just. It's, it's, it come with the experience and it come with the job, but at the same time, I'm over the shit. And like 2021, I'm really on some get money shit. Like I'm on some get, get to my dream shit. Even if that mean I ain't got a tattoo, I ain't gonna tattoo them all the rest of my life, but fuck it. I'm making shit pop with other shit. I'm selling shoes, I'm doing draw, I'm doing all work, like selling portraits. Shit I actually like doing and shit like that, you know. I'm YouTube, I like being on the camera now. I used to be shy but shit, and I like being on the camera. I'm trying to do some collabs, you heard me. It, it just, it, it just, it just, it just, uh, like, 2021 and after this year too, like, from now on, it just, I'm doing a lot of shit that I want to do my way, how I want to do it, like, y'all don't like it, y'all don't like it, but as far as me tattooing, please stop hitting me up, ask me to come back tattoo, please stop, uh, ask me why I stop, because I'm going to just tell you the same shit, go subscribe to my channel and watch my video, if you can't do that, then you don't need to be following me, because you ain't supporting them niggas, supporting you through my page. You heard me? Yeah, man, my bad, man. My phone got to do some crazy glitch shit. I had to fix that. But, yeah, man, I'm trying to, I, I, I just got more shit like I'm trying to do. I got more, I got a lot more shit. Like, I, I want to get more into my art, get more into drawing. Like, I really, that's something I really want to do since I was a kid. Just sit up there and just draw, get my shit in magazines, newspapers, anything. I remember I used to want to be in Sports Illustrated all the time when I was little. Um, uh, like, I, I love shoes, I love sneakers. I, I, found, I recently found me a plug and shit. I've been getting, I've been slowly but for surely building my shoe brand, and I need y'all to just stick with me and rock with me, cause that shoe brand really gonna take off, man. I'm telling you, I'm taking everything I do this year very, 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 very serious. Like, if I ain't never go hard at nothing, even tattooing, trust me, I'm about to go hard at everything else I'm doing. And as far as tattooing, um, I probably will come back to it later on in life, you know. But it is up to God, man. Right now, I got. I got God in my ear. I got God in my ear telling me go after my dreams, and my dreams telling me do what I gotta do to do that, and and do what you really wanna do. What I really wanna do is honestly, what I really wanna do is just draw and do YouTube and sell shoes. Honestly, I don't even really care to tattoo, cause for one, I don't, I don't, I don't like dealing with the people. Um, I'm, I'm a people person, but I'm not a people person. Like, I'm a very impatient people person, but I can be patient. But honestly, like some of y'all people, bro, all these years tattooing is a lot of y'all. I used to just want to tell, like, man, look, y'all can go, y'all can move around, y'all can leave by. Like, I ain't got time for it. But me being me, I ain't no bitch ass nigga. And I, I, like I said, I'm buying my money, and I'm gonna sit up there and, you know, you know, I'm, I, ain't, I'm, I'm, I treat my clients with that more respect. You know, you respect me, I'm, I'm gonna respect you. But if you, know, a lot of people can tell y'all, once you get to waste my time and bullshitting me or. You do too much when you come get tatted, I will not reply back to you when you try to come get it, when you try to come again. Um, just to let y'all know this video might be a little long. I'm about to just get the running and spilling because everybody want to know what the why. So I'm about to give y'all the why. I gave y'all a little bit of I'm about to give y'all the why. The real why. Why I won't be tattooing no more. Hey, what's up, y'all? Oh, man, my camera had died, but I'm back with it. With it. Back with it. Back with it. Um, but yeah, man, like I was saying, pretty much, uh, tattooing take up too much of my time, bro. And I always believe my time is valuable, you heard me? My time is valuable, time is money. And if I ain't making it at a time, then, you know, something wrong. So, but not, not don't get me wrong, I was making money tattooing. I was making damn good money tattooing. But they can't be the only source of money coming in, see? I want to get out more out into the world and you know, do, I, wanna, I keep saying the same shit, but that's pretty much what it is. I just want to get out in the world and do more shit. I'm just over tattooing. I'm really over like 
low key over dealing with people, like dealing with the the business of it. Uh, I'd rather just deal with people on commissions of drawings. That way, I got a set commission. I don't have to actually deal with the person when I'm doing the art on a person. Cause that's another thing too. Like, I have expectations for my tattoos. I sit there, and, you know. You want this tattoo in my head? I'm like, oh, I'm about to kill it. I'm about to really go hard on it. But then I touch you with the needle. You jumping. You can't sit there, be still. You don't let me do me. But on paper, paper ain't gonna tell you nothing. Paper gonna let you do you. So it's just, it's just, I really get rather, I rather get more into that than tattooing. I, I've been tattooing like nine years. Fuck, I didn't, I didn't been in this shit for so long. Like, I've been in this shit so long, like. Uh, to a lot of y'all, I'm really, I, to a lot of y'all, I just started, y'all feel like I just started a few years ago, so that's like a lot of y'all don't take me serious, because y'all don't know where I came from, and y'all don't respect a nigga man or a nigga hustle, or a nigga brand, y'all don't respect, like, that a nigga really came from out of nothing and built my brand up to where it's at now, but, you know, now I gotta do that same thing all over, these other stuff I got, I got, well, actually, I'm starting and shit like that. But man, it, 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 it's nothing, man. Like I say, if I, could, if I put my mind to this shit, I can do it. This shit gonna pay off, bro. You gotta keep, stay focused, stay positive. It's 2021, we manifesting all year. So everything I wanna do, and I'm telling y'all right now that I plan on doing it since I stopped tattooing, I will do it. I'm gonna accomplish the fuck out of this shit. And I'm gonna sit back and look back like, damn, I really said I was gonna do that, and I did it. And that's just what's gonna happen. But I might step back off and tattooing. I might. You know what I mean? I might get bored and be like, you know, I'm tatting for this money or whatever, you know. But, you know, who knows? It depends on how stuff goes. Cause a lot of y'all be like, I don't need to stop. And I'm, oh, you want to get a tattoo by me bad? And I need to start back. And yada, yada, woo, the woo. But when it comes down to the come down, a lot of y'all be cap. Y'all don't really be trying to come. Y'all don't really be want to spend no money. Like, y'all want to, you know, be cheap and shit like that. That's cool with other people, but I don't really like that. I'm, I'm over that. I'm just over that tired of like with drawing. I got a certain commission, so people pretty much know what they're spending before they even hit me up. With shoes, same thing. Like you pretty much know what you're spending before you hit me up. Um, tattoos, I don't know why, but people just feel like that shit just like a piece of cake is easy. They feel like you shouldn't charge. Like I don't, that's why I stopped doing small tattoos. All right, you, small tattoos, honestly, to me, are a waste of time. You're not making no money off it. You probably make, like, at the most of a small tattoo, you make, like, what, $60, $80, which ain't shit compared to when you got to spend money on supplies and all kind of other, you know, the necessities you need to even, to even do the work, do the tattoo or whatever. And you like, you lowballing yourself. You're not even making enough money to buy back all your supplies and... You're not even making enough money to do the tattoo because honestly, 80 to 60 to 80 dollars was I don't care how small the goddamn tattoo is. You got to pay for my labor, you got to pay for my skill. But doing a small tattoo is not easy as y'all think. Y'all think, oh, it's small, it's easy. It may be small and simple, but you got to get that small, simple shit right. The lines got to be right. You got to use a certain type of needle for that shit. A lot of y'all don't know about certain needle groupings. A lot of y'all don't know about, you know, certain knowledge that go into tattooing. A lot of y'all just want to tattoo and shit like that. Y'all just hopping in there for the money, thinking it's, it's buku money. Yeah, you gonna make money off it, but you gotta respect your shit first. You can't just hop in here expecting to make money and be shits and cheap as hell. Like you're not gonna make no real money off tattoo. You're not gonna see no real tattoo money. Y'all go anywhere outside of Baton Rouge, man. You you gonna get text or arm and a leg for any little thing. I don't care if it's a dot. That's how people rock outside this bitch. But out here is just a different breed. Everybody on some cheap stuff. And that be the new school tattoo artists, man. That be, that be doing, that be these dudes that just be coming out the woodwork, you know, just tatting. Like, people come to me, yeah, I, set, I went to Tetsu to get my tattoo. I'm like, man, I never heard of little dude. And they be pretty much people like that start off how I start off, which I ain't knocking. You know, you start off outside, inside your house, you start off with a shot. You start off how you start off and you shit, whatever. I ain't knocking you. I done came from it, but when I started off with this shit, it was only me and like two other niggas that were really like tattooing. Like, Really just tattooing, it wasn't like professionally in a shop that would just, you know, just started this shit. We young, we started this shit and just doing it. It wasn't that many people, so back then the ground was just like, it was different, but not like, as time went on, like a lot of y'all bullshit ass niggas started tattooing, and y'all fucking the game up. It was like, I can't even sit here and tell people I don't do small tattoos, because they gonna get mad at me because I don't want to do them a small tattoo. They really mad because they don't want to go to that bullshit ass nigga over there, get that shit fucked up, and they have to come me for a cover and pay for more. But you might as well just pay that shit right the first time because you, you fuck it up and you need to cover up. Now you spending more money. 
money. Like, you spending more money. Like, that's, that's stupid. Like, with the tattooing, you gotta realize you're dealing with a person. So, like, that's like you're dealing with somebody that's uh, fixing your food. You don't wanna sit up there and, and be disrespectful and, and, you know, get stupid with somebody that's fixing your food. They can do anything to your food. You like the tattoo. You, you wanna pay me for my creativity, my work, my labor. And you got the nerve to have attitudes, be mad, be difficult, just be a headache. So you know what you know what a nigga like me gonna do you? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm give you you want this tattoo, I'm gonna give you just what you ask for. I'm not about to add no extra shit to it. If you sitting there moving, I'm not I'm not about to keep forcing you to just be still. We're gonna end up stopping this whole or it's just gonna look how it look after we done with it, cause I'm not about to be I don't I don't deal with all that. Oh, I just flat out tell y'all I ain't doing it. Like I really that's how I really been before I stop. I just flat out telling people I ain't doing it, I ain't worried about it no more. Or I'm good. Like it ain't about the money to me, it ain't worth it. It's about the respect. You gonna respect me at the end of the day, like you know, it ain't about the money. You can sit up there be spending a million dollars, but you ain't about to disrespect me because you spending a million dollars. Boy, you got me then. That is why I am not tattooing anymore. This shit is a headache, this shit is overrated to me, honestly. There's too many people doing it, like it's not even the same no more. Um It's not nowhere near the same. Shit is so different now, so I feel like I'm just gonna leave that game well. I'm just gonna leave it to, you know, to the younger dudes and all the other dudes that was, you know, ahead of me or whatever to keep doing it. I feel like it's 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 it's, it's, it's something else for me in my life and I'm gonna go after that. You hear me? And on my little boy, on my dead cousin, on my mom, on my fucking self. I'm gonna manifest everything I'm telling y'all this year. I'm out this bitch. Subscribe to my YouTube, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. Um uh, like his I've I've been Resonate on teaching about tattoos. I'm getting up, getting up. So go subscribe to my own fans. You heard me. I'm gonna drop little snippets on my channel and just show y'all what I'm talking about on there. If you really want to learn? I'm really teaching. Like I'm really gonna be showing y'all all kind of stuff. Like tell, telling y'all about different knowledge, showing y'all different techniques, all kind of stuff. Like I ain't the best. I don't know everything, but I know a lot, and I can give all this out to the next person so he can be halfway decent. You know. So um, yeah, do that. Um, and fuck with y'all next video. Happy New Year.